Um, each chapter, we'll learn a couple of these little ratios. Um, the first one is called total liabilities to stockholders' equity. These are what we use when we're trying to make decisions using financial information. And so this first one is where we just take the total liabilities and we divide it by the total stockholders' equity. And that will give us a ratio or a relationship, that's what ratio means, right? Between those two figures. So if our liabilities, if you think about it, assets equal liabilities plus equity. So here we're saying, well, what's our liabilities over or divided by our equity, okay? So if half of our assets were owned by us and the other half were liabilities owned by someone else, the bank, someone we borrowed from, then this ratio would come out to one because you'd have the same amount of liabilities as you have equity. Does that make sense? A little? So if our debt is higher than our total stockholders equity, then our ratio of liabilities to stockholders equity will be greater than one. And if our debt is lower than our stockholders equity, then it will be less than one. So this is one of those ratios where being smaller is better, right? Being less than one means you have less debt relative to your equity, okay? Don't worry too much about it, except for right now, be able to calculate it. And then as we work with them more, it'll, they'll make more sense. Does that make sense? Sometimes step one is like figure out the process and then step two is like, oh, now I know why we're calculating that. All right. So there's just an example of them working it out for Twitter. You'll see that their liabilities, the stockholder equity is 0.47. Alphabet, that's who owns Google, by the way, Alphabet Corporation. There's this 0.24. So we can look at those two and really quickly say Google has a lot less debt relative to its stockholders' equity uh, than Twitter. You can see there's a ma major difference in the size of those two companies. So using these ratios like this helps us sort of like not worry about size and just say as a percentage of liability to equity, who's stronger, okay? And we use that a lot when we're doing investing and things. All right, so that's.